this lady is not a real housewife of Atlanta. However, I've been trying to get Jeannie Mai casted. You know what I mean? Uh, beautiful, smart, gorgeous, has a rich black man. She's rich. He's rich. They have a daughter together. They live in Atlanta. Did I mention that she's married to a beautiful black man? Okay, that man is beautiful. They're both beautiful. If Jeannie Mai was a part of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, she would be the second Asian housewife of Atlanta. The first being Lisa Wu Hartwell. What a feat. What a feat. So, um, listen, when I was looking at the blogs earlier today and I saw that Jeezy filed for divorce, I was kind of perturbed at the situation. I'm just kind of like, what? Remember when Jeannie Ma went onto the rail and basically said that she liked black men on the side? Did Jeezy file for divorce because Jeannie Ma was treating him like a side dish? Okay. If she wasn't, she's definitely going to go back to her uh, original, you know, mode of operation of treating black men like they are side dishes because, you know, um, he's filing for divorce. And I'm just kind of like, girl, how you going to let this happen? How you going to let this good black man go? I'm a little bit confused at this situation. Listen, shout out to the source. Uh, Jeezy has officially filed for divorce from Jeannie Mai. The filing was placed in the Fulton County Superior Court and the two have already been separated. What? There is a prenuptial agreement in place. According to the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, Jeezy is seeking joint custody of their daughter. You know, I don't, I don't know. The last time I checked, I went onto their Instagrams because whenever I want to dissect a celebrity couple, I always just go to their Instagram, which is not the surest way to see how a couple is doing, but it will give you like an idea of you know, some sort of an idea of what the hell is going on. I believe the last time he was mentioned, well, first of all, her name in the bio is, um, what is it? Her name on Instagram is Jeannie Mai Jenkins. Jenkins is Jeezy's name, right? And then I believe the last time she posted him was September 6th. So last week, right? Um, where she's basically celebrating the fact that Jeezy's book, Adversity for Sale, made it to the, is it New York Times bestselling list? Yeah. Today I celebrate a remarkable milestone achieved by my husband. Whoa. Let me read that again. Today I celebrate a remarkable milestone achieved by my husband, Jeezy, whose memoir, Adversity for Sale, has soared to the New York Times bestsellers list. Mm hmm. That doesn't sound like there's a divorce looming. That doesn't sound like if I knew I was getting a divorce, I would not be posting onto Instagram. My husband. Shout out to my husband. His book just made it to the New York Times bestsellers list. My husband. Now, maybe they were trying to make the marriage work. Maybe there were some issues and they were trying to make it work. But that sounds like a happy couple. Or maybe that sounds like a woman scorned, a woman that's holding on for dear life to her husband, child, right? The interesting thing about the situation, what makes it really sad to me, though, is the fact that she did go into the real plenty of times with such a sense of, like, gratitude at the fact that she found herself a good black man, right? She would be, like, crying, like, and remember for the longest time for years on that damn show, she would not make it a secret that she did not want to have kids, especially not with that white husband. And then the white husband left her and ended up having kids with like this young white girl, I believe. And then after a year or two, um, Jeannie and Jeezy met and they started dating and, you know, she changed her mind about having a child. And so now they have a daughter. Right. When you meet a man that changes your mind about wanting to have kids, you know, that's a special type of love. Right. So I just remember her just always being like so emotional about it and just being so thankful that she had found her, you know, found her love of her life. Right. It kind of reminds me of a situation I went through a few years back when I thought I found a man. Child. I thought I found the love of my life and I was so thankful. And one night I just cried and I was like, oh, my God, thank you for sending me this good man. And what I learned is as soon as you start bragging about him, as soon as you start thanking God about him. That's when the universe goes, you're too happy.
break this shit up break it up right so um this is very unfortunate so listen y'all gotta let me know how y'all feel about the situation in the comments down below like the video subscribe to the channel and don't forget to create a great day